This is A. Renee from Journal Jot and Jive. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, what's going on? All right, so today, y'all see it again. Y'all gonna see this little thing for a little bit. This is the Clever Fox Daily Planner. And if you watched the video yesterday, which I will link up in the right hand corner, we discussed that I would be giving this planner a go actually for four months. So I'm gonna end out this quarter, which is second quarter, and I am going to commit to three additional months, which will be the third quarter, to give this a try. And of course, if it works, I will finish it out. Um, what I am starting to understand is a lot of times we hop in and out of all of these different planners because we're looking for planner piece and yeah, eh, it doesn't exist. However, for productivity, if we wanna be real with ourselves, we have to at some point decide, am I really going to stick with something and give it a try? Now, with that being said, yes, I will still be in the Erin Condren that I bought. However, I definitely want to focus on this as a daily planner and we will see how this goes. Not only that, I also want to say, you know, I'm doing an honest review. I don't feel like I can give a fair review if I'm not really trying the planner out. And I understand that's what happens on channels. We give reviews, we flip through, yay, nay. But I want to do things a tad bit differently if I'm going to do a review. All right, so let's look at some things that I have done. I have added a couple of extra things in here to kind of get familiarized with this. So I did go ahead and set up my monthly spread and what you can do with this planner, y'all, if you have it. So again, if you have this, if you reviewed it and you're like, okay, wait a minute, I do still have this planner. Maybe I might want to give it a try. Understand that you can use a lot of the things that you already have around the house, which means shop your stash, pull out all of those sticker books. If you want to do a whole bunch of stickers or highlighters, any of those items can definitely be used in here. Okay, so this is for the month of June. I did set that up. I haven't put in the month and the year just yet. I will do that. I believe I have some dated stickers that are not staring at me right now. Okay, so we're gonna leave that alone. So I did go ahead and do this. So I did pick one habit to adopt, which is to wake up early. I actually struggle with that and I really want to get to this stage in my life where I could get up at 5 a.m. Have not made that there yet. And then you get this section down here that says this month's goals. And then I covered up those extra dots that are usually left over in the monthly layout. And outside of that, this is this month's wins, how I'll improve next month. So that gets done a little bit later. So I will go in and put some information on here, y'all know there will be a part on here where I speed the video up to get some things done. All right, so the thing about this section is all the months are coupled together and then you lead into the weekly layout. As I mentioned in the video yesterday, I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I didn't. Yes, I didn't, that's that. Um, so we did our first layout yesterday, which was Wednesday. June 5th and I filled that in and so what I did a little bit later I did go in and I said I'm gonna finish this out for the rest of the week so I just put some washi that's the same not that that's needed but I know that that's gonna end on Sunday I believe that's the page and then I'm gonna have a couple of extra sheets because I didn't start on Monday so I will repurpose these sheets for whatever I need and I'll probably show y'all that next week and then at the end you have the weekly notes so I do know that you all will see this planner on film quite a bit because I need to hold myself accountable and this can also show you how to do some of the same concepts in whatever planner you're in all right okay so that's going to be that and now we're going to go ahead and set up for today and why was I trying to turn a page that wasn't there? We're going to go ahead and set up for today. You know the drill. We're going to speed this up. And then I'll come back and I'll explain anything that you saw me doing on here.
okay y'all that is it i actually flipped back through the month and was like oh i'll go fill some stuff in and then i was like yeah no i'm not so by the time i come back for another video you'll probably see some more stuff added into the planner okay so this was pretty simple i wrote everything down uh that needed to be done i did leave a couple of blank spaces in case i need to go and fill in something different because of course i'm not even in this time slot and i haven't planned anything additional over here and then down here i just put some simple tasks that i need to do so i already packaged that pay bills i did that the facial mask i need to do and i've been drinking water throughout the day and then I actually filmed edit and I'll be uploading so that's what you see right here and while you see these icons right here it's just telling you what type of video I did right here and then I just said what needed to be done at that particular time up here you also see today's priorities you see three lines a lot of times we feel like if it's three lines I have to use all three lines if you don't have three things that are a priority please don't make up stuff that's where we get lost in the sauce and we're wasting time and you're not as productive because you're trying to make something occur that doesn't need to occur. All right, so today's main goal was to complete the custom order, which I actually did. It's already packaged, so that's ready to be shipped off tomorrow. So that'll actually go over in this section for tomorrow. I put a couple of stickers down here and there just because I like them. And I like the fact that they're small enough to fit in here, but I'm not allowing it to overpower my list. Now, will some other stuff be in here where it's just a whole bunch of stickers and I like to say that's throwing up on the page, the stickers are just thrown everywhere? Yes, that will probably occur more so. That was real country. That will occur more so <laughs> in probably the vision board area. And let's see, let's see, let's see. And then up in these areas, like I can make these how I want it to be where this I don't have to feel like oh my gosh I'm not really focused and everything is just jumbled up and then I can do less on the daily pages because I want the focus to be on what I really have to do all right so that is that I hope you enjoyed this video if you are a daily planner what type of daily sheet do you use if you're not a daily planner do you think this is something that you can adopt into your planning system with that being said, that doesn't mean do you have to go buy another planner. There are so many stickers that allow you to compartmentalize as well as break things down by the hour. All right, so if you can answer those questions, make sure you put it in the comment section. I love chatting with you all. If you are interested in the giveaway, remember to go check out the video from yesterday so you have the correct details and you're leaving your answer in that particular video, not this video, okay? So if you leave, a response in this video it will not count towards the giveaway all right so again this is the clever box planner and this is the daily planner and so far I'm liking it and I'm glad that you will all be on this journey with me as we do daily sheet planning all right have an amazing day remember to be productive and until next time